Honourable Member for Calgary Lougheed. Genocide, which was perpetrated against the Ottoman Empire's Armenian population between 1915 and 1923. 250 Armenian intellectuals and community leaders were imprisoned, deported, and assassinated. A law was passed authorizing the deportation of the entire Armenian population. There were mass murders of entire villages. Women and children were burned alive or drowned in the Black Sea, very close to where my maternal grandmother was born. Those who did not meet this gruesome fate were deported by the hundreds of thousands and marched into the desert to die of thirst, hunger, disease, and exposure. Deportees who somehow survived these miracle marches were sent to die in one of the 25 <coughs> concentration camps along what is now Turkey's border with Syria and Iraq. One and a half million Armenian lives were exterminated as the international community watched, powerless to stop the atrocities. Two decades later, the world bore witness to genocide again in the form of the Holocaust. Mr. Speaker, here in Canada, our new leader co-sponsored the parliamentary motion recognizing the Armenian genocide, and Prime Minister Harper was the first to recognize it on behalf of the government of Canada, and they did so because we have a duty to remember and to learn from this first genocide of the 20th century. Tragically, the hatred that leads to genocide exists in our time. Armenians and other indigenous minorities have faced attempted genocide at the hands of ISIS in Iraq and Syria, which is one of the reasons why Canada has welcomed hundreds of Armenians and thousands of other resettled refugees from that reason, or sorry, from that region. I pray for the hundreds of thousands of lives lost and for those still in harm's way. And I join Armenians across Alberta and around the globe in remembering the crimes perpetrated against their people. Let us strengthen our collective resolve to never again allow hatred to turn into the mass violence of genocide. We owe it to the one and a half million Armenians and the millions more who have lost their lives in acts of genocide. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.